we built a catapult. First, we're going to talk about some of the history of the catapult. Then we're going to talk about our different trials. And last we'll, lastly, we'll explain the energies our catapult uses. Um, if you want to move something across the room, we've got the perfect objects for you. Um, for our project, we made a catapult, and it's not the big ones that they used to make in like the villages, but it's a smaller ish. Okay, so for our first catapult, we tried making it out of popsicle sticks, rubber bands, and a small plastic spoon. And we concluded that the popsicle sticks weren't sturdy enough, so it didn't go very far. For our second catapult, we added another rubber band and kept everything else the same. And we concluded that the second rubber band didn't help at all, and our machine started to fall apart. And then for our final catapult, we made this, which it has wood for the base and a, uh, popsicle sticks. It has a clip, rubber bands, and a long spoon. And it used to be plastic, but that broke. And um, we used wood because it's a very sturdy surface, and we used the rubber bands, so that way it would be more elastic and it would go farther. Um, we used hot glue to hold the base together, and we used nails to make sure that it didn't move. Um, for We had a long spoon, so that way it could go back farther and fling farther, so that way the object could go farther. And we had a book, but we don't have it now, and it elevated it so it would fly higher in the air. Um, and our catapult uses kinetic and potential energy, and it starts when the marble is in the spoon, and then it turns kinetic when it flies through there. Our catapult also uses Newton's first law because the marble stays in motion until it hits the ground, and then it starts losing speed. Oh, and um, for our catapult, yeah, you um, pull the spoon back, and you would place your object here in the big part of the spoon. But, um, the marble uses acceleration when it first leaves the catapult and when it hits the ground and it keeps rolling. And so we concluded that our catapult works better with sturdier objects and the catapult has increased range to throw things from the farther distances and heavier objects throughout the years.